want to sit down here and make myself comfy or comfortable in, in a plural form, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. How, how are my YouTube friends doing today? It's me in third person. Can you believe it? I'm usually standing over on the other side doing Hot Wheels cars, but today I want to tell a funny story. Well, it was early in the morning. I got up around 7 o'clock in the morning. And I decided to take out my trash that I've got over here. My kitchen trash. Or the trash can I used to throw my my food in. That, even that is clean. I'm a clean, I'm kind of a clean freak. So um, when I throw my trash away, when I throw my trash away, before I throw any food in there, I even make sure to either eat it, because I never waste few, I never waste one crumb of food when I eat. But uh, and I have a disposal, so that that tells you everything. I make sure that anything I throw away in the trash can is squeaky clean, and if it's dirty, I'll put it in a bag. And if I've got meat products or fish products or chicken or whatever, I'll put it in the refrigerator. I mean, put the bones and all that stuff in the refrigerator and wait until I throw the trash away when, I, when that time comes. The reason being is so it doesn't smell in the trash can. So basically, everything I put when I throw away in my kitchen trash can is either plastic, paper, or cardboard with maybe just a crumb of food clean clean dry food I never throw anything wet in there if it's gonna smell anyway all right to change the subject I went out to take out my trash and I decided hey I wonder what's going on with the with the washer terrier lately because I haven't used it in a while because I've got my own washer and dryer now already so I just decided, well, you know, after I'm done tossing my trash in the big waste basket over here, I'll go over and check out and see what's going on in there. And when I was getting ready to get in there, I was wondering, wait a second, there's a, the door is closed. They don't normally don't close the door. So I opened up the door to the washing tray and keep in mind, none of the, none of the washing machines work. <laughs> Everybody here has to go, either has to buy their washer and dryer and hook it up, or they have to wash their clothes down at the washeteria somewhere else. But, all right, back back to the washeteria here. I opened up the door, walked in, dirty light as usual, and I looked to the, to the right on the table that we used to use to... Do the uh, to fold our clothes, and lo and behold, there's a <laughs> there's a homeless guy sleeping on the on the on the table. I mean, he's just sleeping. I I couldn't see him for a second there. For a second, I thought I, was, I have trouble. I'm visually handicapped, and I go, "Is that a bunch of clothes?" And I got a little closer, and I said, "Is that a dead person?" No. And then I got a little closer, and I go, "Oh, it's a homeless guy." And he, he jumped up, and he looked kind of startled, but yet, like, hey, you better get out of here. And, and I just ran out. I didn't run. I just kind of uh, hastily and in a comedy sort of way just walked out of there and went to the front desk, went to the office and told them about the neat little surprise they had hiding in the in our washeteria, in washeteria. Come to find out, our super, our the people in the in the in the office weren't were off and were off for a couple of days. So I had to call them and leave a message on their on their on their answering machine. But uh, <laughs> so that's my story, and I think it's kind of funny. He's not there anymore. I talked to a week later. I talked to the the manager or the of the supervisor or of the place, and she said they had to call the police twice 
on him and they got him out of there. But what makes me a little upset is for at least four or five years, our washer and dryers in this place have, have not worked. Luckily for me, I've got my own washer and dryer. But they charge you extra for doing it. But uh, yeah, that's it. So I thought, I thought that was kind of a funny and goofy story to tell today on Sunday. I hope y'all are doing good. Cause I know I am. Got more hot, got thousands more Hot Wheels videos to share in the 20 or 30 more years that I expect to do this, or unless I drop dead which I hope I don't do anytime soon. I'm 50 years old now. I don't feel like it. I'm 50, and maybe on the comments down below, y'all could say, Jason, that's my name. You don't look 50. You look 25. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it, guys and girls and whoever else is watching. Goodbye and so long.